Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Is it working? Is audio working? Did I plug everything in right? Or did I plug it in left? I don't know. Hi, Piggy. PP Zerk says hi, Piggy. Yes, it's working. Awesome, it's working. All right, sweet. So we got, I just need to probably, it'd probably be a good idea if I swapped the screen over, right? Swapped it over so you could see what, what in the world was going on. Eagle1701E, hello, welcome to the stream. Mr. Albert, too, yeah. <laughs> hey, 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 it's time to play Minecraft. <laughs> All right, let's see here. Let's go ahead and swap over. Uh-oh, why is that not working? Oh, you know what? Okay, I'll explain in just a second. Hang on one second. I need to mess with my settings here in OBS. If I can remember how in the world to do this. Okay, I don't know why it's saved at that. Let's see here. Should it? There we go. He figures things out. <laughs> so what had happened was... Um, uh microsoft is kind enough to do all the updates for you not yet not yet the stream deck has been ordered um i think amazon said it should be here you thought i was in a very dark cave no 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 Minecrafter, not in a dark cave <laughs> um i think amazon said the stream deck should be here october 6th let me check my calendar here that looks like a week from today i don't know how easy they are to set up um, if they're fairly simple to set up, we should have them up and going uh, by next Wednesday stream. And I got some response on the emotes that I'm having drawn. Um, I was told that they should pretty much be done by tomorrow. So I'm going to get a preliminary preliminary look at them tomorrow. And, uh, you know, depending on if there has to be any tweaks or anything, we might actually have emotes ready to go for Saturday stream, which will be just awesome. That'll be so cool. Everyone that's been so kind to donate all that cash. Hey, King Otaku, welcome. They'll actually be able to use their emotes for once. Old Piggy will quit quit holding the emotes and finally, finally have them where everybody can use them. So, yeah, what had happened was uh, Microsoft had updated. Let's go ahead and join on the server real quick because I need to get in a certain spot and find something here. Um, but Minecraft, uh, Bedrock Minecraft updated to 117.30, I think is the number. It's so hard to keep up with all this stuff. Um, do I have everything? Oh, oh, that's kind of a spoiler. I need to get that video finished so I can get that out. Um, we're not gonna be doing too much building here to, or on the server today, but we are gonna be referencing some things so that way I can go back and forth and figure out what I wanna do. Because I have put off building on this island for far too long. There's someone over in that general direction who has had to be dealing with a certain someone else of a three-man team that's always at each other's throats. And I've not joined in on the fun. So I need to join in on the fun. I need to start doing a few things that are going to irritate someone. <laughs> irritate in a good way. But yeah, Minecraft updated itself. Well, the problem was that there are some modules that run in the background here on Truly Bedrock. And uh, Foxy No-Tail had to update those. When he went to update them, he figured out, wait a second, this newest version of Minecraft, like it makes, I can't remember all the bugs that were in it. They were ridiculous. Like stuff in your inventory could get deleted and disappear forever. Um, certain blocks wouldn't work. Crafting recipes wouldn't work. It was an absolute fiasco of a release. So they just said, well, go ahead and revert back to the previous one. And I'm like, well, how do you do that? So then I spent an entire week trying to figure out how in the world do you revert an, uh, a Minecraft to an older version of Minecraft. And so um, now I'm loading it with a loader. Let me see if I can remember what this loader is called here real quick. Oh, it wants to open an MCB switcher, I think is what it's called. Yeah, it's a Foxy No-Tail uh, thing that he created. It's a little difficult to set up, I'm not gonna lie. I'm usually pretty good about technology stuff, and this was a little trickier to set up than what I'm used to, but I managed to finally get it set up. Up, Pain Dragon, welcome to the stream. Thank you, thank you. Yes, happy Wednesday to you too. Woo! We're half, we're halfway there. 
Oh, man, oh, man. Just a few more days, and we'll finally be at the weekend. That'll be awesome. Um, is that the one that Silent made in a video? I have no idea. I'm going to be, I'm going to be, here we go, a little face to face here. I'm going to be completely honest with you guys. I barely have enough time right now to make videos, let alone, I, I can't, I almost can't even keep up with everybody else's videos. It's crazy. So if Silent made something, he might have, or Foxy, no, I know Foxy No Tell made one. He made an installation video about it. But, um, but Silent might have made a video about it just to try and help promote it. But anyway, I got that all set up and going, but now uh, now my computer thinks that when I'm opening Minecraft, it's a different um, it's a different program, and so that's why I had to go in and reset OBS to figure out what I wanted to do. But today I want to get started on building something. Um, so in Truly Bedrock, uh-oh, we got those jerkies down there, and I need to get a sword. There's no way I'm going to be able to deal with them. Um, so in Truly Bedrock, for any of y'all that have been watching the series, um, on screen... And in the series, I'm playing it like I'm in a virtual world, and all the characters are AI. Um, and so, by me having that environment, it has freed me up a little bit to tell more of a story, and to worry less about... Um, what in the world did I put? Here we go. I was going to say, I know I've got this stuff laying around. Um, oh, there's my helmet. And now I've kind of lost track of what in the world I was saying. Oh, oh, I know. <laughs> yeah, I can't walk and chew bubble gum at the same time. That's what's going on here. Come on. Come on, you. And put them boots. Put those. Why is it that nothing wants to cooperate with me? Right click. There we go. It's like it doesn't want to react when I tell it to do stuff. It's crazy. Um, but yeah, I'm focusing less. Oh, food. I can't finish a sentence. Where's some fish? I know I've got fish around here. Not there. There we go. Okay. Pig's got to have some food in his stomach or he just can't. He just, streamer brain is a real thing. Yeah, you're not even kidding. <laughs> okay. Now we got food in our stomach. Now I'm able to talk and think. Um, so basically, um, stuff that I'm doing here is more about like story driven. So I'm not too worried about if I build something off camera and then the next episode, it's just there. If that makes sense, you know, I can blame it on the AI. The AI created something else for me. So what I want to do today is I want to put something on this hill and I need to figure out what the dimensions are available on the face of this hill. And I also need to go over to Dadcraft's base and see how much of that hill you can actually see because I want to build Mount Pigmore. I figure we, you know, Dadcraft's just always looking over here at this little tent this tent's always making him mad, so maybe we need to put something else over here that's going to distract Dadcraft a little bit so he doesn't get so mad at the tent. He's got something else nice to look at. How about that? How about them apples? So let's see here. Let's jump down here. Um, I don't know if y'all have seen this. Not too much has changed. I've just managed to finally get all the flooring in. Um, and I'm, it took me like two hours. I finally got all my junk over here. We need to find... There we go. I was going to say... Oh, wait, I've got my pickaxe. Let's just do diorite. I'm not too concerned if I lose a whole bunch of diorite. There we go. And I tell you what, any of y'all that play Java and Bedrock, there's something really, really weird about the sensitivity settings for the mouse in Java versus Bedrock. I find switching back and forth from one to the other. It feels weird controlling, controlling a character. There's just slight nuances that... You know, if you play one version for years and then you go to the other, your brain kind of goes, wait a minute, muscle memory's not making any sense right here. This isn't working. So while we're running over here, don't forget for those of y'all who might be new to the stream or you have just jumped in, guess what? We got a joke of the day. We've got a Piggy's Epiphanies moment and we have a song for the day. So make sure you stick around for that. We have a two hour stream going on. We got all kinds of things we're going to be doing. So somewhere, you know what we need to do first? Let's do this. Uh-oh. Oh, no, that's fine. That's fine. Okay. Um, let's pillar up. Kind of get an idea of where I want the bottom of this thing to show up. Still better than having to play Bedrock on a touch-only device. I can imagine. And when I say I can imagine, I can't imagine. 
I can imagine what the frustration level would be like. I cannot imagine trying to play Bedrock on like like I had looked at it on my phone and I looked at how people played it on phones and I'm like, nope. Uh uh uh. There's no way I'm gonna be able to play that. That's gonna just drive me batty. Um I know that there's kids that are like so pro at it using like iPads and different little devices like that, but me I'm like, nope. My my adult brain will not be able to handle that. Where's a boat? Now we got two problems. I don't know that you're gonna be able to see from over there that angle. We might Ooh, pardon me. Sorry, I ate dinner about 30, 40 minutes before I started, so kind of getting a few burps here and there. Um, but yeah, the angle that, that that's at, we might have to knock some of that hill down so that you can see it. And Oh, I guess we're just going to have a passenger. We're going to have a little buddy, a little friend hanging out with us. You want to go on a journey? You want to go for a ride? It doesn't matter if you do. No! Oh, I had this problem earlier. <laughs> Batcrats, two problems, Zerk and PB Zerk. Well, I tell you what, Batcrats, it's your job to stick around and stream tonight and to uh, make sure that they behave. How about that? KYNZ Gamer, Kins Gamer, I think that's how you say that. Welcome to the stream. How are you doing this evening? Or morning or afternoon, depending on your time zone. So let's see here. What is it? Ooh. You know what? I do not have. A, I know that Dadcraft's been doing this thing where he'll build you a boat. If you've got enough points in his chat. But I can't seem to get enough points. I've been wanting... Uh-oh, the dogs want to go out. Isn't that always the way? You get interested in doing something and the dogs are like, Hey, hey, what about me? What about me? Lyric21, welcome to the stream. How are you doing today? So see, look. We can barely make out where that, that diorite is. It might work. That might work. Okay. Let's do this, because what we're going to do is we're going to swap over to a creative world so that I can work on some ideas, because we're going to try an organic style build, sort of. I've not really built stuff like this before, and I thought it might be fun to do this on stream. Um, if I start to get out of line, y'all can, you know, knock me back in line, give me some suggestions and stuff like that. Good, and you got my name right. Not many people get my name right. Good to see you, Piggles. I'm doing well. Awesome. So, so is it Kins Gamer? Is that that how you say it? What do some people want to say, like Kinds Gamer or Kinsey Gamer or something like that? You noisemaker, calm down. We're trying to stream here. <laughs> Let's get over here to where this uh, this bed is going to be. We'll go and hop in the bed real quick because it's about to be nighttime, and then we can go over to that spot and we'll get ourselves some rough dimensions, and then we can swap over. And uh, it is right. Okay. Ken's Gamer. Awesome. CJ Williams. Good evening, Piggy and friends. Welcome back, CJ Williams. Hope you're having a great evening. Hope that your music endeavors have gone well. Um, What what did you say you played? Let me see if I can remember. Was it concert violin? I want to say it was a stringed instrument. Either that or a baritone. One or the other. It, it, you know... They're similar, right? In the sense that they can play notes when when performed upon. <laughs> oh my gosh. Close. Viola. Viola. Okay. I kept thinking not violin, but not cello. And I'm like, well, what the heck else is there? And I'm like, uh, it's gotta be something. I know it's something. And let's see here. All right. So let's just build this out. We'll tear all this down later. Um, this is me not having built scaffolding. So let's see here. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine blocks. I don't know that that's going to be, we're probably going to have to make this a little bit taller. Hmm. Now I know when I look at Mount Rushmore, I think the heads... I don't think any of the, the mountain was carved in such a way that the heads poke out above the mountain. But I, I'm not really trying to build Mount Rushmore, per se. Not violin, not cello. Just the one that rhymes with Ebola. Hmm, maybe I should, shouldn't should use that one. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh wait, I need to go to sleep. Uh-oh. 
That's not good. Like I, I can guarantee you this, if you leave if you leave the stream running in the background, I'm probably going to wake you up at least once. Cuz I can get I can get rowdy. You, you don't know, you know pigs especially if they don't eat, they can get a little rowdy. So, um <laughs> All right. So we're looking at 9 by 9 by 9 by 9 would be probably the smallest we want to work with, but I I don't know why I feel like I want it to be at least twice as big so we're going to save and quit off of here and we're going to go into a creative world and we're going to start experimenting a little bit with uh with an idea create a new world create new world let's see here i want it to be creative don't care about achievements want it to be peaceful I'm so used to um, Java where I can have like an empty world. I don't think there's a way to create an empty world in this. Um, Pain Dragon gifted a tier one sub to Backcrats. Oh, thank you so much, Pain Dragon. I appreciate that. Nuka Caps. I had a pet pig. They're super noisy. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I actually had an ant that had a pet pig. You have two goats. They're super I bet goats can be really loud, really obnoxious. Um, goats tear stuff up. I mean, the, the few people that I've known that, that raise goats, those goats always find ways to break out of, eat whatever, get into, jump all over, tear up whatever you got. It's, they can be very frustrating to raise. You know what? This kind of works. We can use, wait, what is this over here? That's red. What? How is there nether stuff right here? Did my truly bedrock uh, world corrupt this? That has to be like where... Oh, look, there it is. That's what it was. As I say, this has to be where one of those unbuilt portals appears. That was so crazy. That's why they live outside? Yeah. <laughs> I can change it to a flat world? Oh, okay. Like I was saying, though, this might work to have like a hill as a canvas to work against, okay? So I think we'll go with that for now. So let's see here. First thing I want to do is build a backdrop of something that I'm not going to build with just, just so we can kind of see the dimensions of what we're doing. So let's do the 9x9 nine nine first just to get a rough idea of how big that's going to be. One, two, three, one, two, three, and then one, two, three, four, five, six seven eight nine and yeah when my aunt when she had that pet pig it was it was crazy because first their their fur is real stringy it's real tough and um they they usually don't stink they're actually very warm when you pet them i believe the option is called world type but yeah i agree it's better to have a pre-built mountain okay um Pardon me. And then another thing was I found out pigs are actually extremely intelligent creatures. They're on par with um, dogs, some very intelligent dogs as far as intelligence level. So, so let's see here. One, two, three. There we go. And then let's try one that's double that size. Your sleep is horrible. One, two, oh, one, two three, four, five. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. I feel like double in size. That might work. You wish you were as smart as a dog? Why? You're a human. You're smarter than a dog. Are you wanting to like lower your IQ so that you... I know what you're up to. I know what you're up to. You want to be as smart as a dog. So that no one can say that you're as smart as a human. So that way you can't be held responsible for all the normal stuff that a, an adult human would have to be responsible for. That's kind of smart. I sleep at 1 a.m. all the time. So it's, it's always 1 a.m. for you? That is such a strange time zone you live in. <laughs> 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. There we go. Um, bat. You don't want to be a bat? Yeah, that's a good question. We got back rats talking about being a dog instead of a bat. You know what? I don't blame you. 
bats in Minecraft are annoying. Bat rats is not annoying. You go to sleep at 1 a.m. Ah, I see. Hey, hey, here's how. I, I've got it figured out, Kins. Here, here we go. Let me do this because this is going to force the camera to get real close, okay? Here we go. I figured it out. I figured it out. Here's how you do this, okay? Okay, write this down. This is going to work. Probably not, but ooh, ooh, look behind me on my left. There's a there's an outpost over there. Okay, we're not going to be distracted. Here's what you do, Ken's Gamer, okay? Find out what time in the day you actually want to go to sleep. Like, let's say 10 o'clock at night, your time, okay? So you find another time zone that's three hours ahead of you. So at 10 o'clock where you are, it's 1 o'clock there, and you tell your brain... Look, look, it's 1 a.m. Then you'll be able to go to sleep. Yeah, look at that. Piggy solves problems. Hashtag, whoop, Piggy solves problems. If he can spell, problems. There we go. There we go. Hashtag and everything. I'm fine with being a bat. I just wish I was as smart as a dog. They're much smarter than bats. Oh, okay. <laughs> No pain dragon. I'm not going to go to like size 32. That would be that would be crazy. We got to keep this under control. We do too much and dadcraft will lose his mind. So, wonder j 786. I'm not smart. Yeah, mhm. Mm great says Kins gamer. <laughs> you're just a bat derp. At least you're not guano. That would be a bat drop. We don't want that. So let's see here. So I want to make the face of a pig for Mount Pigmore. The first thing I want to do is, and the issue with that, <laughs> um, the, the first thing I want to do is, uh, um, let me, s oh, you know what? Look at this. This is a pro move. This is how you, this is how you segue or segue, depending on how you want to pronounce it. This is going to give the mods something to do because good old Piggy has not set up automated messages in chat yet. See how that works? I give them something to do. Other than just banning people. You got to give them something to do. Your arm hurts a lot. I'm sorry. We'll stop pinching it. JF Bird Blue. Hello, Piggy and Chat. Welcome. Welcome to the stream. I hope you're having a good evening. So if you'll go over and look at my second YouTube channel, uh, Piggy Piggles 2, two, pig, pig, two Piggies is the name of my main channel. Piggles 2 is the other one. So if you'll look at that, there's an icon for that channel. That is a, a drawing that Zloy drew of my character um, quite a few years ago, actually. And it's not your traditional Minecraft. You get you got three shots today. Ooh, yikes. That stinks. I can see where that would make your harm hurt. Um, and it's not your traditional square-shaped Minecraft icon. It's more of a, a circular icon. Um, of course, my character's got his mouth wide open. I want my character to kind of sit there, maybe not even with a mouth, but I want it to be a little bit more circular. Zloy miss... Wait, what? Let me back up. Zloy miss his draying streams? I think you misspelled that. I don't know what that... I'm not quite sure what that was supposed to be. You can call me Bird if that makes it easier to remember. Okay. Three shots. How drunk did you get? <laughs> How in the world do you get three shots in your arm? Intravenously? That could be pretty dangerous. So let, oh, his art. You miss his daytime. Your, you miss his art streams. I think that's what you mean. So let's see here. So the first thing I want to do is we want to try and develop some kind of a circle. I also want to work with something that's going to let me have stairs, blocks, slabs, uh, potentially buttons like I'm trying to figure out how do we carve shapes and things into this and still let it look like something natural now the other thing is for some dumb reason I decided this year or this season on truly bedrock I have to build with organic things so let's see here um, let's just start with spruce wood so basically we can't build this out of stone dumb rule i know i don't know why i came up with this silly rule but you know it is what it is let's see here where maybe we can type in slabs slab there we go and i think i'll work with these for now and then we'll come back later and everybody um so i don't know if twitch is doing this but i did find out today that it 
Why am, there we go. Escape out, please. Thank you very much. I did find out today that this is some new rule that it looks like YouTube's going to implement. Um, now, on my channel, it's all pure entertainment and entertainment and gaming. So I'm not too worried about why are so many of the people I'm following live? Probably because they wanted to stream, but that's just my guess. Um, <laughs> that's what you get for being here at my stream. Nothing but the best sarcasm for my viewers. Um, but yeah, uh, if you mention anything on your videos that in any way, shape, or form say anything negative or contrary to the narrative of the day about vaccinations, whether they be current vaccinations or vaccinations throughout history, if you say anything negative in video, those videos will be deleted and you could potentially lose your channel. That's the new thing they started doing today. So what I don't know is if Twitch is going to jump on board with something like that. I don't know if Twitch, I don't know how much Twitch monitors chats, if that makes sense. So basically, if you want to talk about that kind of stuff in chat, you're free to, um, but be very weird, be, be very leery of the things you say because the overlords are watching. That's the best way I can say it. So, <laughs> oh boy, look at all these people getting uh getting banned. PP Zerk, you go. All right, so let's see here. Let's time set day because I know that's going to be a problem. And let's see here. What do we do? We did 18. Let's do nine, 19. Just so we have an odd number, because that makes it, a, I don't know why, but odd makes it a little bit easier to work in a voxel world. Yikes, that's scary, says Momcrafter42. That is true. It is, it is quite scary, the level at which people are being discouraged to talk about things or even ask questions. WonderJ786, what am I building today? I am build, I'm working on a pig face to build on the side of a mountain to mess with Dagcraft. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So there is our center mark right there. So let's see here. From here, I, I think the first thing I should do is try to build some kind of a circular shape. And this is going to be a little tricky. Normally I would use um, like a, a voxel a program, a website that I've got access to that kind of helps you do circles and stuff. But I think we're going to freewheel this just to see. Wonder Jay, do you remember me, by the way? Um, the name seems extremely familiar, and it reminds me of another uh, person that had uh, the name Jay or something like that in it. You might be that person, and you just changed your name, and that might be where I'm getting a little confused. So let's see here. One, two. One, two. And then five. Is that how I had it? So one, two, three, four, five. Huh, that's weird. What did I What did I get? Diamond Sky, welcome. How are you? You're not J Seed. Okay, I know you're not J Seed. You were J Cole. That's who it was. Okay. That's that's who I thought you were was J Cole. And that you had swapped your name to Wonder J. Um yeah, yeah, I remember you. Um you I remember uh probably one of the first interactions I had with you is I think you've been commenting on my videos or something like that, so I knew of you and you had done like a, a vlog or something and I encouraged you to to keep at making videos and keep trying it and that that seemed to really resonate well with you and so we kind of hit it off from there three four five and I think if I'm not mistaken you'd said that um you'd gotten married recently recently being in it in within like the past year or so something like that so yeah yeah I know you I know you I think you've kind of uh stopped uh with the gaming and stuff right let's see here too like that i don't quite understand why this is coming out even and not odd maybe because i've got these two evens right here but if it does that's fine you know 
at the end of the day, I'm looking for results here. I'm not too worried about um, precisely fitting within a... Look at that. I made a voxel circle. Woohoo! <laughs> Okay, let's see here. Oh, we got, oh, B Silver B hopped in. Hey, B, B Silver B, welcome to the stream. How are you doing? Ken's Gamer, I have to do an assignment where I have to tell my name and, wait, one thing people should know about me. I'm thinking of doing hi, my name is, and I don't want you guys to know anything about me. <laughs> that would be interesting. Or figure out how to say your name in another language and then tell them that name. <laughs> Let's see here. What uh, last April you got me? Okay, uh, hey Zerk was a bit late because. Oh, okay, okay. I don't know if that was a message. Okay, I see that. Um. Okay, let's see here. I'm getting like so confused. I'm sorry. Are you trying to fit a square through a circular hole again, Piggy? No, 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 no. It's okay. This will work. <laughs> I'll be lurking. My daughter and I are watching Wonder right now. I've only cried five times so far. What is Wonder? Is that a show about bread? Wonder Bread? <laughs> Let's see here. So from here, you should learn your name in Russian. That would be cool. There you go. So from here, what I want to do is I want to make like a dome shape. I want I don't necessarily want this to be a complete half orb, but I do want it to feel like, um, and I often use this word. I don't even know if this is a real word, ovular. Oval shaped, ovular shaped. I think that's a correct, correct nomenclature. There I go. Now I'm really be using big words that have nothing to do with what I'm trying to say. So let's see here. So we can go two, one, one, two. I feel like this one might be getting too far out. Let's back this up. So let's go one, one two and then from here let's try that you think it's a word it might be how's dadcraft doing last i checked he hasn't fully lost his mind so i think he's doing okay he seems to be doing pretty good we'll see how he we'll see how he is after i'm done with this um what's fun about this is this has nothing to do with him this has everything to do with my island he'll just be able to see it and he'll just have to deal with being able to see it. And that's all there is to it. <laughs> we'll see how that goes. Good night, Piggy and chat. Thank you so much, King Otaku, for stopping by. You have a great evening. And Zavavault, welcome welcome to the stream. Thank you so much for stopping by. Dash Gaming 78 thank you for the follow. I just noticed that from 14 minutes ago. I appreciate that. Um... CJ Williams, did you say DC hasn't lost his mind yet? Oh, you don't know anything? Oh, okay. Uh-oh. <laughs> that didn't come from me. Uh-oh. You're starving, Ken's Gamer. Oh, no. We'll go get you something to eat. I'll still be here. I've got a little while let, left to, to, for stream. Got about an hour and a half left. So I'm good. And I'm noticing that one hour and a half mark, which means we're coming up on uh, one of our segments. So let's see here. Let me... Let me, there we go. So I think that's going to give a good oval shape to what I want. Give us a little depth that we can work on. So I can go ahead and fill this in. And then from there, I think what we should do is, uh, hmm. See, the problem is my island is made out of brown. And that's going to disappear into it real quick. We could look at trying to build this out of birch eventually because that's a good contrast and everybody hates birch, so that'll really mess with them. <laughs> but it's like 10 p.m. Uh-oh. That word has to do with ova, ovum, egg. So, ovular. Oh, you know what? I never thought about that. That, I don't know. That might. So, Ken's Gamer, if you're getting hungry and it's late at night, get yourself a late night snack. Just don't make it high-calorie food. Don't let it have a lot of sugar in it. Like, um, you know, maybe a, a, a some vegetable, raw vegetable, like carrots. Get you a carrot or something like that. Those can be pretty good for little snacks. 
I, I'll tell you, um, for those of y'all who have been watching Dadcraft, he's been on this kick about um, losing weight and stuff. And I'm I'm not, I could say egg shape, I suppose. Yeah, that could be one way of saying it. I'm not overweight. I got a few pounds I could lose. For most of my life, my job has involved something about standing on my feet and doing a bunch of physical work. And in the past few years, I've been blessed with having a uh, more of an office job working at a computer. Well, because of that, you know, you, you kind of start putting on a few pounds. So I've tried to be a little bit more mindful about uh, calorie intake and stuff like that. Basically, I've spent the past week or so. Uh, I've got an app on my phone. I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to promote this app. Here we go. Let me see if I can remember what in the world it was called. I got to learn how to spell here. Paprika. My mom would know I'm up, though, and she wants me to sleep good. I never do, though. Uh-oh. Don't get yourself in trouble watching a stream when you should be in, uh, uh, going to sleep. Let me double check. I'm Paprika. P-A-P-R-I-K-A. Okay. So if you'll look, at, for any of y'all that are uh, adultish, that you do grocery shopping and stuff like that. Paprika is a spice. Yes, it is. But if you'll look up this word on a app store, like Google Play or something like that, there is an app. It's like five bucks. You can put recipes in there. You can go in there and create a grocery list based off of recipes. Like what I do is I have a bunch of different meals that I put in there and all the stuff it takes to make it. Paprika is a good app. Oh, PP Zerk knows it. Awesome. Adultish, that's great. <laughs> well, you got to stay kid at heart, right? Um, but yeah, so this app, this app is so cool because I go in there and I put in all the meals that I would normally make, all the ingredients that go in them. Then when I want to make my grocery list, I pick out five or six meals for the week. Um, I've done things like, say, things I eat for breakfast. I created those as a meal, all the different breakfast things. And so that way, when I go in there, and select breakfast as a meal, I go through the list and I pick, I check off the things that I want to be in my grocery list, like bagels and cream cheese, stuff like that. Have you brought back building with piggy yet? No, I haven't. I haven't brought that back yet. It just, it, matter of time is really what it's boiled down to. Just don't have enough time to do it. I've got an idea of what I would like to do with that series that would make it a little bit easier to produce. Um, but just time constraint, honestly, is what it has boiled down to. You usually scroll through TikTok until midnight. Yikes. Well, I can tell you the first problem, Ken's Gamer, um, whenever you make your eyes look at your computer screen or your phone screen, the light coming off of that actually messes with the chemicals in your brain and won't let you calm down to go to sleep. Um, one trick you can do, and this is really hard to do for about the first week or two, because it's not your normal cycle. It's not what you normally want to do. Your body's going to crave that adrenaline and that those endorphins you get from interacting with your phone. If you'll put it down, put your phone down, like say you got to go to sleep at 10. Put your phone down about 9 or 9.30 at night. Give your, give your brain a chance to start cycling down. Between 10 to 11 o'clock, your brain's going to start settling and realizing it's time to start going to sleep and it's going to start releasing chemicals to help you calm down and actually be able to go to sleep. Um, so I love Kid at Heart. People in real life tell me quite a lot to grow up, but come on, I want to enjoy life along with the problems I have to solve. Yeah, I'll be honest with you. If you don't stay kid at heart, you're you're going to end up dying from a heart attack of stress. I mean, you can't do that. That's too hard. He, here, here. Let let let's try this. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna challenge you. If you're up for a challenge, I'm gonna try and challenge you. Okay, okay. Maybe you can't do that. Okay, but try this for a week. Just put your phone down for five minutes. See if you can go for five minutes, okay? And once you can prove to yourself you can do five minutes, then just try to do six, okay? Actually, here's, here's another thing you can do. I saw this the other day because I was watching this one video. This guy, he was using it to talk about dieting, 
but he was also saying you can apply this to things in general, okay? CJ RV Williams, that's a great app idea. I should try that. Never forget things when I make my store trip every week. Okay, let me finish the app thing, and then I'll address this other thing with Ken's Gamer, and then we're going to go over and do a... Uh, we're already coming up on uh, one of our moments. So don't worry, I just did like an hour ago. <laughs> uh, so, so yeah, so this app, you put recipes in there, you go through, say I go through and pick out like six recipes for the week. And so what it does is it populates a grocery list for me of all the ingredients I need to make those meals. And then what I do is I look at that list and I look at all the, the food I have in my house and I click the check marks next to the different ingredients of things that I have. And I tell it to filter and show me on screen only the things I need to buy. So like say that I need flour to cook something and I've got flour, I would, I would go on the app and click flour, and it will disappear from the list because the list is only showing me things to buy. And it also puts the ingredients in groupings like baking goods or canned goods, stuff like that. It puts them in all these groups. So, um, <clears throat> so once I get that list figured out, then I go to the store and it keeps me focused. It keeps me on task. I only buy the things I need. I don't end up buying things I don't need and have food go to waste because it sits there and I bought way too much and I don't need it. So, and it's like a $5 app. It's awesome. If you want something to help you do grocery shopping on your phone and keep yourself organized, it is amazing uh, uh, thing to have. Um, and uh, people who have that app, they can share their recipes. So, if enough people uh, over in Discord, actually, I might, uh, I've got a thing in my Discord called Eat Like a Pig. I'll kind of keep an eye on it. If enough people start wanting to use that app, I might try to figure out a way to upload uh, recipes and make a way maybe for other people to upload recipes and we can share our recipes with each other through the Paprika app. That would be really cool. That could be a cool thing. Okay, Ken's Gamer. So here's this thing. This thing had to do with dieting, but it works. It's such a great idea. You can use it in anything in life, okay? So this guy said the reason why most people fail at dieting is because they have to fight mentally with, you know, let's say we want to lose 10 pounds. Okay, for the next X number of weeks, we're not going to eat certain foods so that um, so that way we can lose weight. And once that weight is over with, we can go back to normal and everything's fine. And it doesn't really work that way in life. For you to lose weight and keep off that weight and to stay healthy, you have to change your habits. You have to hack your brain, basically, and work against your against your brain. So what, what he said was, whenever in life you want to do something, maybe it's a, maybe it's a, a, a habit you have that you realize might be a little destructive. Not necessarily something terrible, like, uh, you know, you like to eat just a little too much chocolate. Okay, let's just say that. that That's a real easy one that most people can identify with, unless you just hate chocolate. In which case, I'm sorry, this is not going to make any sense to you. You might as well go do something else for five minutes. No. <laughs> but say, say you just eat too much chocolate, okay, and you want to get that under control. And you've tried and tried every time you're just like, I deny myself a chocolate to the point where I can't deal with it anymore. And then, oh my gosh, I explode in my mind. I got to eat. And then I just like gouge myself with chocolate because I can't deal with it. The alternate way of dealing with it is this. You've got chocolate in the house. You like eating chocolate. There's nothing wrong with that. But say you get to a certain point where you're like, I want some chocolate right now, darn it. Okay. There's nothing wrong with that. You can get the chocolate. But here's how you hack your brain, okay? Tell yourself, you can have the chocolate. Just wait five minutes and see how you feel in five minutes, okay? Nine times out of ten, what happens is you're so used to giving in to your impulses, to your emotional responses, that it's, it's overwhelming to try and fight it. But if you can trick your brain and say, look, we can have this. There's no problem with that. You can have the chocolate. Just wait five minutes. In five minutes, because feelings are so fleeting, your emotions are so fleeting normally, in five minutes, 
you're probably not going to want the chocolate anywhere the amount that you wanted it earlier. So I would say that with your phone. If you're feeling like, maybe I should be putting this phone down right now, but at the same time you're like, oh, I can't do that. Then it's like, okay, okay, how about this? I'll play on my phone. I can play with my phone. Check Twitter. Check what my friends are doing. No problem. But I'll do it in five minutes, okay? Just put your phone down and say, in five minutes you can do that. And then in five minutes, see how you feel. Sometimes you'll pick up your phone. No problem. Sometimes you'll be like, you know what? I went five minutes. I'm okay. Maybe I'll pick it up later. And if you develop that as a habit, you can apply that. Yes, lyric. Exactly. It's so applicable everywhere. You can use it in so many things in life to try and keep yourself under control. You know, there's nothing wrong with doing things. You just have to moderate it so it doesn't get out of control. And can you believe it? We've been streaming for an, almost an hour. This is all I've managed to accomplish. We're almost coming up on music time. <laughs> so first thing I need to do is I need to go ahead and tell joke of the day. Whoop. We got joke of the day. That's right. So, I, and I've heard this joke told as an Aggie joke. Raise your hand in chat if you even know what an Aggie is. Some people may not know. Um, when I was a kid, this this is the way that I would hear the joke, because here in Texas, there are uh, such thing as Aggies. Well, I might be able to sleep now. That would be awesome if you could, uh, Kins Gamer. That would be so awesome. Okay, Backrats does. B Silver B does. We got two. Uh oh, PP Zerk does. Okay, okay, that does it. Enough. It's CJ Williams. So enough people know who Aggies are. Okay, so there are tons of Aggie jokes. Aggies are uh, the nickname of people that go to Texas A&M, which is a college. And so people would make jokes. Texas A&M is a really good college, and people that go there are really intelligent. Um, Texas A&M also has an agricultural um, um, wing. I don't, know, I, I don't know the exact word you would use. Your daughter's an Aggie. Oh, B Silver B, you can use this on her then. <laughs> So I was sitting there, I was like, how do, do, how do I do a joke? What, what joke should I do? And I thought of this one. I was like, oh, it's an Aggie joke. I don't know if anybody will get that. But apparently some of y'all do. So, so the idea is that Aggies are actually really intelligent in real life. But because it's more like farm culture type agricultural stuff that's taught at these schools, or at least it used to be, that was a big focus. It's kind of a joke. It's like they're country bumpkins. That's, that's the idea, even though they're not. So it's just kind of like fun poking fun at them. So having front loaded that, here's the joke. So there's these two Aggies walking down the street and they're in between towns. It's like 20 miles between the two towns. It's hot. You know, it's the middle of the day. And they're like, there ain't no way we're going to get to this town without passing out. Let's go ahead and see if somebody will give us a ride. So cars are going by. Of course, they're sticking their thumb out trying to get a ride. And finally, this one guy in a pickup truck slows down, stops, says, you you, you boys going to the next town up here? And they're like, yeah. He goes, well, I'll tell you what. Go ahead and hop in the back. You can ride in the back of my pickup. And, uh, you know, I'll take you into town. It'll only be a few minutes. And they're like, yeah, that sounds good. So they jump in the back of that pickup. And they're just cruising along the road. Boy, they're feeling good, man. They got wind blowing through their, their hair. They know they're going to be at this town before sundown. They're not. Their legs aren't going to be worn out. This is the greatest thing in the world. They're, they're just on cloud nine. And then all of a sudden, uh, there's a bridge up ahead. And on the bridge is uh, a deer running around on the bridge. And the driver panics and tries to slam on the brakes and ends up just careening off the side of the bridge into the lake. And the truck just starts sinking. And that driver's panicking. That driver, you know, gets the gets the window down and gets out of the truck before the truck goes underwater and manages to swim to the to the shore. And he turns around and he looks. The truck's underwater. I mean, all there is is bubbles. And those Aggies aren't anywhere to be found. And he's sitting there thinking, oh my gosh, did they get thrown out of the back of that truck? Where are they at? Oh, what am I gonna do? I oh gosh, I need to call the cops. And right about at that moment. One of the guys comes popping up out of the water. He's just breathing. Oh, he's gasping for breath, and he swims to shore. He's just laying there on the ground. He's like, oh, my gosh, I didn't think I was going to make it. He's like, 
where's your buddy? Where's your buddy? He's like, he's coming. He's coming. He was right behind me, I swear. And a few seconds later, the other guy comes up to the surface, and he's like, just gasping for breath and makes it to the shore. They're like, oh, my gosh, I thought we were going to drown. And the guy's like, boys, what is the deal? I was inside the truck, and I managed to get out and get to shore before that thing sunk. You two went down with the ship. What in the world were you doing? And they looked at the guy, and they said, we were trying to get the tailgate open. Wah, wah, wah. <laughs> P.P. Zerk says, we have Aggies in Utah, too. Same reason as for the school they go to. Oh, okay. Tim, you U- UT State, worst kind of Aggie. <laughs> oh, nice. Awesome, awesome. So that was joke of the day. And, oh, we got four minutes till music. So how about we just go ahead and do music early? Let's jump over. Let me, oh, there we go. Woohoo! All right, so give me just a second. Got to get everything plugged in and turned on. And I have been trying to work out the logistics of this just to make it a little bit more seamless. I don't know with the current setup that I've got how it's all going to work. I think once I get the stream, stream deck set up that, um, that things will be a little bit easier. So this is a song from the 90s from a band called Toad the Wet Sprocket. Um, they put out several albums, but if I remember correctly, they really only had two or three songs that uh, that really made it on the radio. Let's see here. Let me make sure I open up the right notepad file. And I'm going to do something that I forgot to do last time, which is I'm going to maximize that file so I can see the whole darn thing. <laughs> All right, so just a quick sound check. Is that the sound? You know what? I'm going to try to sleep. Awesome, Ken's Gamer. Especially if you got school coming up tomorrow. Last thing you want to do is try to try to function on not enough sleep. So here we go. I'd call and never speak and you would say Nothing's changed at all And I can't feel Much hope for anything You won't be there To catch you if I fall yeah. spaces in between and we see it won't be long Ooh, but something's always wrong another game As if we'll come back to them sometime A brace of hope A pride of innocence And you would say that something has gone wrong Oh, again In between, we always say it won't be, won't be long, but something's always wrong. 
Something's always wrong Something's always wrong Yeah Awesome. Thank you, Steena Rose. Let me put my guitar down real quick. We'll acknowledge all the raiders. Well, you always raid just in time. <laughs> right at music time. Great timing. See here, we got Steena Rose raided with a party of 16. Momcrafter42 cheered with 300 bits. Uncle Jimbo cheered. Kyberg cheered. We got a hype train going. Thank you so much for the for the cheers, everyone. I really appreciate that. Let's stroll up here. Scroll. It's not stroll. No stroll, Piggy. You scroll. Scroll up, Piggy. Let's see here. Who we got coming in on this here raid? I need to get myself a raid sound going as well. We got Izzy's Potato, Uncle Jimbo, Aletha Prime, Kyberg, Four Roadrunner. Mm, pardon me. We got Knights of the Hidden Realm. Oh my gosh. We got a level level one hype train already going. We got Zerk with some bits. Awesome. Awesome. Um, Let's see here. Uh, Lyric, we need a lighter remote for when you're singing. Yeah, it's coming. It's coming, Lyric. They're drawing it right now as we speak. We got Mandalays with some guitars. Uncle Jimbo. Uh, uh, Sky Inc. Sky Inc. Awesome. Let's see here. Keep scrolling down. Keep scrolling down. Uncle Jimbo gave out a one-tier community sub gift. Thank you so much, Uncle Jimbo. I appreciate that. Um, let's see here. Keep scrolling down. I think I got it. I think I got everyone. Woohoo! Awesome. Awesome, awesome. Let's go ahead and swap back over to our gaming. Uh oh, it's nighttime. We'll have to we'll have to set that time. There we go. Sweet. So I hope y'all enjoyed that song. Ha raise your hand if you've even heard that song before. I'm kind of curious to know. Like I said, it's a little bit of an older song, around from about the '90s, um, which is what about 20, 25 years ago. So maybe y'all haven't heard it. There's a, it, it, and, and eventually I'm going to get my, Diamond Sky, thank you so much with, for, for the bits. Mom Crafter gifted a, a tier one sub. Thank you so much, Mom Crafter. Um, eventually I'm going to get the music time where it's going to actually show the song on screen and the name of the artist. And so that way, if you like the song, you can go look it up. You can actually go hear the original. And if you really like the song, you can go get, you can go get a copy of the original to listen to. Um, now, another idea that I had um, is on my second YouTube channel. Um, it's not monetized. The funny thing is I made a video with a cover of a Coldplay song in the credits and didn't get in trouble for it. No, no ding or nothing from it. I put up a live stream of me playing an acoustic and singing a song and I get a copyright, uh, strike 
on the on the video. Now it's not a traditional strike like I'm in trouble. It's basically saying whoever owns the rights to that song, they are claiming rights to whatever financial gain I get from that video, which is silly because the channel's not um, it's not monetized. So you know, good luck with getting. Oh, Kyberg with some uh, some gift subs. Thank you so much. See, did I miss anything else? I think so. I think that, okay, thank you so much for Kyberg for that gift sub. So anyway, one idea I had was maybe taking some of the live stream segments, like songs, and rendering those out as their own individual videos and then uploading those so that that way if somebody wanted to, to hear a certain song that I've done, they can just go watch that one video instead of like culling through the entire live stream to do it. Y'all let me know in chat what you think about that idea. Or you could also go over to my uh, to my Discord channel and you could post in there. You could post in there. I have a, uh, I'm just going to use these for now just so I can see the contrast of what I'm working with. But you can post in there different ideas for live streams. If you have songs that you would like to hear and request. If I can perform them, I will try my best to perform them. Um, yeah. You could also go over there and comment on what you think about that idea. Um, oh, and we got Uncle Jimbo giving out a, 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 a Tier 1 gift sub. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Let's see here. Now, okay. Oh, you know what? That kind of works. I was I was looking at Ken, Ken's Gamer. Okay, I'm back, but only to ask one question. Then I'm going to go. <laughs> Kim Crook. Jim Croce. Okay, Zerk, post the name of the Jim Croce song. I, I know the name. I Mike on Switch, welcome to the stream. How are you doing? I know the name Jim Croce. I couldn't honestly tell you that I can hear one of his songs playing in my head right now, but I know that he was, wasn't he like a 70s acoustic artist? Um, so I'm pretty sure that I could do a Jim Croce song. Um, you would just have to name one for me to 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 look at and and to consider. Let's see here. So that actually works as a nose, strangely enough, doesn't it? S 70s singer songwriter. Time in a bottle. If I had time in a bottle. <laughs> bad 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 bad. Wasn't it bad boy Leroy, Leroy Brown? That name sounds, that song sounds familiar, that title. I know that from somewhere. But yeah, if y'all will post that over in the uh, the Discord, that way I can remember them. I can go look them up and uh, look at what it takes to play the songs. Because see, there's a lot of factors. One, can I even sing it? Is it in my range? Two, can I perform it on an instrument? Um, see, like, so there could be songs that I could play on the guitar. But the problem is, because it's just a single acoustic guitar, it may not sound right, if that makes sense. Sometimes there are certain songs that you have to have certain instrumentation on it. Otherwise, it just doesn't sound right. That that really looks like a pig nose. That's looking good. I like that. The question is, should I grow my hair out? Wait, operator, there are a number you would know. I will... Okay, awesome, Zerk. Lyric that took me too long to figure out. <laughs> Should you grow your hair out? My question to you, Ken's uh, Gamer, is do you want to grow your hair out? And if you want to grow your hair out, then my answer would be, yes, you should grow your hair out. Of course, if you're still a child and live, living with your parents and they got all rules and stuff, you might want to double check with them. Don't go saying, well, Piggy told me to do it. So I'm going to be rebellious. I'm going to break all the rules. And Piggy said it's fine. <laughs> Don't get me in trouble. But I mean, I've, I'll be honest with you. I, I've had long hair for years. And I have long hair because I want long hair. So let's see here. Wait. Oh, awesome. We got the level one hype train going. People got themselves some level one emotes. Awesome, awesome. Um, Let's see here. Oh, 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 there's some stuff going on in chat. Let me scroll back up real quick. And see what I missed. Um, the south side of Chicago is the baddest part of town. You go down there, you better just beware of a man named Leroy Brown. That sounds so familiar, Uncle Jimbo. Careful asking me for music, says Lyric21. You'll possibly get more. No, here's the thing. I would rather get more than what I asked for. It gives me things to choose from. Ha ha. Wonder Jay says, I haven't played my guitar in a while. 
I may have long hair or short short hair. You have halfway hair? <laughs> well, it's halfway hair. I will not confirm if I seen so <laughs> kind of, but also not really, but I need it for cheer. Oh, okay. He's never going to give you up, never going to let you down. <laughs> Wait, so Ken's Gamer, there's actually like a rule for you to be on the cheer team. You have to have long hair. That's interesting. I'll be honest with you. I was never part of a cheerleading team, so I couldn't even begin to tell you that I understand those things. Like in high school, I was like the rock and roller, long haired, moody type kid. I did not go to football games and did not involve myself in all those kind of stuff. That just, that was not my thing. I'm not saying it's bad in any way, shape or form. That just wasn't my, my likings. Even to this day, I'm very, very introvert. Like I have no desire to, to go out to like things publicly. I mean, I'll go, but but I don't sit around going, what's the next public event that I can be involved in? Chat pause due to scroll. Oh, there we go. Wait, just playing Garakus. Yes. Song, oh my gosh, Zerk, you're right. Songs from Eric Clapton Unplugged. That would be that would be good. I actually was thinking about doing Nobody Knows You When You're Down and Out, but there's a few parts that talk about alcohol, and so I'm like, eh, I don't know if I want that to be in my stream, but... My twin plays into the music by Van Morrison in my Jeep because I have a bass booster on my Bluetooth. <laughs> awesome. Um, yeah, instead of X. No, but I can't pull my hair up very well. Oh, okay. Um, Siri, don't listen when I don't want her to autocorrect. I'll just, yeah, yeah, put the ideas in Discord. All right, Wonder J, thank you so much for stopping by. You have a great rest of your evening, great rest of your day tomorrow. Thank you so much. And I have to have my hair pulled up. Well, okay, Kins Gamer, then here's what I would suggest. I think your problem is not so much whether you should or shouldn't have long hair. I think your problem is you don't know how to pull your hair up. So you could just look on YouTube. There are so many things on YouTube. It's ludicrous. Just look on YouTube and see, are there some tutorials? Um, I know there's got to be some tutorials because I've caught my wife watching tutorial videos on how to do hair. Um so there, there are a lot of uh, resources for you to look up different ways that you can uh, put your hair up. Whether And I, I almost will guarantee you that there's going to be tutorials for cheerleading, specifically for cheerleading, how to put your hair up. Not only so that it's functional, not being in your face, but maybe potentially being um, stylish, if that's the right word. Just, you know, something that you would like to look at, not necessarily just um, functional. But that would be my suggestion. Explore your options. See what's available. Um, maybe there's a new skill that you need to learn. How to tie up your hair. Tie it up quickly. Um, my hair is shoulder short and I can't do hair. Well, it just takes practice. Practice, practice. Bobby pins for the win when I was younger, says Dellen. Into the Mystic is the correct title, says Lyric. Okay. Um, yeah, I mean, there's there's multiple ways of doing it. Um if, okay, so a lot of the times, like my hair is so long, it's it's almost three quarters of the way down my back. Most of the time, I just keep it in a ponytail because it gets so hot. Like, I'm hot natured, I guess that's the right way. I get overheated very easily. So I have to keep my hair pulled back in a ponytail to keep it off of my neck so I'm not burning up. Um... I don't know if that would work for you, but usually shoulder hair length, I don't know if that's necessarily long enough to really get into a ponytail. But I'm telling you, if you look on YouTube, I can guarantee you there's going to be some kind of tutorial somewhere that will help you figure out good ways to deal with your hair. So let's see here. I feel like... We should push this back just a little bit because I want that nose to really protrude. Okay, that works. And so there we got a forehead there and we've got a mouth going there. So that kind of seems like it works. Buy a, <laughs> buy a ponytail wig. <laughs> the new channel redemption, Braid Piggy's hair. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, I'll tell you a funny story about that. All right, thank you. I'm going to head to bed now. Okay, Kins Gamer, thank you so much for stopping by. 
I hope you have a. I, I hope you get the sleep that you need. For Roadrunner, my hair touches my shoulders, and I put it in ponytails and bun. Okay, cool. Yeah, it's been so long since I had, and it sounds funny to say, but hair shoulder length in my mind right now would be short hair. <laughs> So it's been so long since I've had quote unquote short hair. I don't even know necessarily what, it, what I can't remember what it was like to put that short of a piece of hair into a ponytail. So I'm wondering, can can we get away with something that might try to mimic a mouth on my oh, see? Here's the thing. Like when we look at my character, I don't have a mouth per se. I've got like a little shadow underneath my nose. But it, my character doesn't actually have a mouth. But that drawing that Zloy did, the character does have a mouth. And it works for that image. Let's do this just for a second. See, I feel like we probably need to go back a little bit. Building. Yeah, because see, we're going to lose the, the definition of that nose. So I need to go back at least one block. So let's try back here. And I'm looking at the time. Um, what do we, we did joke of the day and song of the day, right? So I've got Piggy's epiphanies coming up pretty soon. Our son has been growing his out. Now he keeps stealing all of PP Zerk's hair ties. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah. But between me and my wife, we got hair ties. Sometimes they get left around the house and then the cats get them and they try to chew them up. And that's always fun. Ooh, this kind of looks like that might actually work. as like an open mouth thing. Let's, let's, let's see how this looks that kind of works oh my gosh how is it that i'm figuring this out i'm never good at this kind of stuff let's see here do that and maybe come out one block right here and then one block right there let's try that over here let me copy that and i'll look over because i see chat moving still um what did i do two blocks forward Two blocks forward like that. Hair ties equals my cat's favorite toy. Yeah, I don't know what it is. My cat has this thing. It's it's the weirdest thing. It's like something overtakes him. He'll get one of those rubber bands in his mouth and he'll start chewing on it. And I can I can smack him on the butt. I can tell him no. I can try to take it from him. And all he does is he will lay as flat as he possibly can to the ground. And look at me with the look in his eye as if um, chat almost always moves. <laughs> um, he almost gets this look in his eye like, I can't control myself right now. You have to save me from myself. Like this automatic response takes over and he just starts chewing and chewing. And so it's gotten to the point where it's like, I just have to kind of grab his head very gently and just hold him still. And take the rubber band and just slowly kind of work it out of his mouth. And once once it's out and I let go of him, it's like the madness has ceased. He goes back to normal eyes. And then he looks at me like, I'm sorry. I don't know what I was doing. <laughs> it's the weirdest thing. So let's see here. Oh, okay. So we need one block here. Now, as we get this developed a little bit more, I think we can start using some other blocks to maybe throw in some different texture that will cause different shapes to be a little bit more pronounced. So let's see here. Now, the other thing that I'm not doing that, that I'm gonna have to think about is I'm not building this spawn proof. So we might have to look at either using carpets or maybe some kind of half slabs. But see that, that actually looks like a mouth and nose. I, I'm just blown away that this is actually like working exactly the way I want it to. Let's do this. Let's get some uh, some dark oak. Let's try. No, 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 no. Let's let's just do this. Wait, wait. Right there. There we go. I want to try something, just to see if we can do something that might end up looking like uh, the inside of a mouth. Something like that. Let's see what that looks like from over here. Cool. That's kind of working. Huh. Now the only problem is with it being a stair, it's kind of getting lost. 
let's do that. Let's take that away. Okay, from a lower angle, you can tell. What is it? Uh, here's the other thing. We have to see what this is going to look like from far away for Dadcraft. <gasps> it's going to look like a piggy face. Whatever little bit of Dadcraft's mind he's got left over, he's going to lose it. <laughs> so I think really the only other tricksy thing that we got to figure out would be the eyes. How exactly do we want to do this so that so that it does look like a set of eyes? Let's make, let's see here. Just got to be careful with this because I really don't want to lose that pronounced nose if I can keep from it. That kind of works. Let's do this. Let's take this back one block. And we'll do like that. So this is a little bit more flat. I won't have so much like pudgy cheeks. That works. That looks pretty good. Let's see here. So if we do this and bring that down, let's bring that down one and then come back like that. How does that look? I got high cheekbones on there. There we go. That's what it is. Um, let's see here. Let's do that. And then let's go ahead and make this layer like that. How does that look? That doesn't look too bad. Um, let me see here. Kind of not too sure about this being back one. Maybe like that. How does that look? I think it works. And then the other thing we can do uh, also is maybe we can use stairs. Oh, oh, go around there. <laughs> use stairs to do just a little bit more shaping, if that makes sense. There we go. So it gets a little bit more rounded shape. And we could also experiment with that on the side of the face as well. Let's try that and then... And then we're going to do our next segment. Oh, nope, nope. Don't do that, Piggy. That's going to be a weird looking. I like that. That looks really good because now we've got a roundness to the face, a roundness to the cheekbones. And with that being straight down like that, that definitely like defines the shape of the mouth. I'll lurk until then. Sadly, I got to do some stuff for work. Don't know if I'll be back. Well, it's okay, Lyric 21. I appreciate you being able to stop by for the time that you did. So I'm actually feeling a lot better about this than when I started. All right, so let's go ahead and do our next segment, and then we'll come back. The Lurk comment describes me so much it's creepy. <laughs> See ya. Well, and like I said, if you don't get a chance to come back this evening, I appreciate the time that you were able to spend here. Hopefully you can get your work done. Oh, Stream Deck, you can't come soon enough. I'll be able to do all this stuff so automatic. So let's see here. What, what in the world did I have this set up for? So here we go. Nope. <laughs> I'll get it right eventually. Whoop, there we go. That's right. It's time for Piggy's Epiphanies. Brought to you live and in person. The only pig who has epiphanies. <laughs> so today's epiphany or deep thought is don't be afraid to fail. Don't be afraid to fail. I got to thinking about it the other day, how we are taught in school to, to think about things and to solve problems and to come up with new ideas outside of the box of what we're used to thinking. Now, I'm not saying that school is for fault for doing this. I, I drew a bunch of different threads of ideas and kind of brought them all together, but I really got to thinking about it. When you're in school, for lack of a better explanation, you are trained to learn information and then you are graded on your ability to repeat the information. If the information you ever say is wrong, you're given bad marks for it, and it's generally frowned upon to have low marks in school. 
You can lose privileges if you're into sports and things like that or extracurricular activities. Depending on how much your parents are paying attention at the time, you might get grounded, things like that. There's a lot of a negative emotions wrapped up into the process of learning information, ingesting it, memorizing it, and being able to repeat it. Now, on, this, on the basic level, there's nothing necessarily wrong with that because we do have to have a system and a way to teach people information so that they can have a leg up when they become an adult and actually be able to make something of themselves and be successful in life. But one of the negative things that happens when you're taught this is you're also subconsciously taught to be wrong means negative emotions. And so we subconsciously spend most of our life trying to avoid being wrong, making a, a, a wrong choice. But here's where this can actually become counterproductive. When you're trying to come up with a solution for a problem, and you've only got so much information to work with, but you don't have the answer to the problem yet, what a lot of times can happen is you can freeze in, in fear or panic because you can't figure out the problem. You're so scared to come up with a supposed answer, test it, and then find out that it was wrong, sometimes it can paralyze you into even trying to make a choice in the first place. I hope this is making sense. And so what I've found in life is if you remove some of your, um, your self-importance, for lack of a better word, um, out of the equation, sometimes you're gonna say things, like say somebody's got a problem and you come up with a, a harebrained scheme, a, a crazy idea that might solve this problem. Half the time, people aren't going to speak up because they're going to think, oh, what if I'm wrong? People are going to look at me funny. They're going to, they're going to look at me weird. People aren't going to want to listen to me. But I'm going to be honest with you. A, a large majority of the solutions that I've come up with to problems in my own life are because I let myself think outside of the box. I wasn't scared to try an idea, even if it was going to fail just to try that idea. Half of the time your ideas will fail, but here's what happens. In the failing, sometimes you learn new information or sometimes for whatever weird reason, your brain is gonna make a connection you wouldn't have made otherwise and you actually stumble upon the solution. But the only way you're ever gonna be able to get that solution is if you're brave enough to allow yourself to move in that direction in the first place and not be afraid to fail. And that's Piggy's Epiphanies. I hope that made sense. <laughs> failure is only failure when you don't learn from it. It's not about falling down. It's about getting back up. Exactly, C.J. Uh, Williams, exactly. Zerk says, I love the example of SpaceX. They always point out that one of, when one of their rockets blows up, how much data they collected to learn from. Exactly. I mean, if anything, you learned, well, that's not the way to do it. <laughs> so I would say that's a success. Let's go ahead and set time day again. All right, so let's see here. In the 20 to 25 minutes approximately we've got left, let's see if we can figure out how to make some convincing looking eyes. Um, Edison didn't fail at making a light bulb 2,000 times. He found 2,000 ways not to make a light bulb. Exactly. <laughs> Edison didn't fail. He discovered many ways things didn't work. That's true. You can just go with CJ FYI. Oh, okay. Okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. All right. So let's see here. I'm th thinking the eyes. Let's do this with a different color just, to, just for that contrast. And then we'll come back with something that's a little more of a shape. Something in that zone... I'm thinking needs to be the eye. I almost feel like the face needs to be one block forward and the eyes need to be something that we can build that shows a little bit of depth so that we can get some kind of an eyeball out of it. Now I'm just going to, we're just going to try something here. I really wish we could do sideways stairs. That would be so great, but we can't. Let's see here. What would it look like if we threw something like a fence in there? How does that look? 
That actually kind of looks like an eye, doesn't it? Lyric 21 says, appreciate that epiphany, Piggles. Something I needed to hear. Changing the way you look at failure can also change how you look at success. Exactly. Moncrafter 42, you don't want the eyes to pop out staring at DC. <laughs> no, no, no. I, I, I don't want to I don't want to terrify him. I, w I more want to irritate him. Let's see here. If we get this, if we get these to turn, will they look like eyelids or is that going to be too big? You know what we could do? Let's try this. Oh, oh. How does that look? Well, there we go. That That's kind of bug eyes. <laughs> that's kind of working. Can we mix and match wall types? Will they connect? Okay, they will connect. <gasps> Ooh. I mean, it looks like an eye, but at the same time, I don't know. Maybe... I almost feel like it needs to be one block wider, but then the problem is we're almost getting too wide for the shape of the head. Let's see what this looks like. What I might need to do is shift the eyes over a little bit for that width. I don't know about that. That almost looks like I'm wearing glasses or something. <laughs> Which I do, but my piggy character doesn't do, so that would look that might look a little strange. How does this look? No. Okay, let's see here. Let's go back to to that. What does my character's eyes look like? Okay, they're even. Because I was going to say, what would it look like if we had two contrasting colors like this? That sort of works. Sort of. Let's see here. Let's, let's see if we can find something that's going to let us do like a black and white sort of color. What are these called? Walls? Let's see what kind of walls we have available to us. Huh. None of them are organic. I might be able to get away with in stone as a whitish color. I don't know what we would use as dark. Unshipped Mod, welcome to the stream. How are you doing? What would fences look like? Fences and gates. Ooh, a gate. What would a gate look like? Let's try that. Let's let's erase this. That gate being open, and uh, let's use the the sandstone walls as like the whites of. Or let's try in stone brick. That seems a little bit brighter. Cause see, it will connect. Glass panes. That might be a good idea as a vault. See, that kind of works. That kind of works. Will glass panes connect to a, a wall? Let's find out. Glass. Um. Let's see here. Let's give Piggy green eyes. I don't have green eyes, but let's see. Actually, that... Ooh, it will connect. Okay, cool. So let's do this. Let's erase that. And let's put a, uh, a dark oak... A dark oak log just so that it's gonna oh, where'd it go just so it looks kind of like the dark iris so we've got the color of the eye and then we have an iris also I think I'm using the right terminology I think iris is the right part of the eye I'm thinking of get it the iris is the right part of the eye I'm thinking of <laughs> at a quick glance I just saw Miss Piggy from the Muppets and I was deeply disturbed Uh oh Wherever I go, it's looking at me. <laughs> that actually works. That's crazy. That's that's looking good. Oh, Momcrafter likes it. Awesome. Okay, let's let's replicate that on this side and see see how that comes out. So we got we got one space. Okay, this side turns. This side turns. And then we had the, the, there we have the glass pane there. We'll put that there. Oh man, oh man. Can you imagine what Dad Craft's going to do? He's going to blow a gasket, I tell you. <laughs> That's not looking too bad. Not too shabby. 
I is a little close to the center line. Oh, look, you're right. See what I did? I, I built this. Okay, so should we have it? Does the eye on the left or the eye on the right look better? It might be a little, gosh, it's almost like, here. No, Miss Piggy would have big black lashes. That's true. <laughs> I think the other thing that I didn't do is I, oh, I curved these, but I put blocks behind them. That's why it looks so wonky crazy. Piggy, you look like you've been, uh, you got, you got hit in the head with a baseball bat. Your eyes are all wonky. Are black coral fans a thing? Oh my gosh, are you, yeah, hang on, let me see. <laughs> uh, fan? No, there's no black coral fans. There are, there are these. The only problem is, one, I don't know if they'll go on stairs. Yeah, it won't let me place it. Will it go on a full, so yeah, it'll go on full blocks. Um... Let's see here. Let just just for the heck of it. How does that look? It kind of looks like eyelashes, doesn't it? <laughs> oh my gosh, I've used gray ones for eyelashes. Bushy eyebrows? Yeah, that kind of works. I don't know that my character would have bushy eyebrows though. Might look a little too weird. Put them on the front of those blocks? I don't think they'll let me put them on the front, will they? Yeah, see, I'm... Oh, there it goes. Wait, what? Oh, I clicked twice. Okay, let's see here. Remove that. <laughs> oh, it's probably going to be, like, close to Uncanny Valley. Valley. It works as eyelashes. But I don't know that it works for my character. Let's let's try this. These eyes on this side, let's push them out one block from the center line, um, as suggested. Let's see if we can... I mean, it's a shame I couldn't do a two-block eye, but I don't think we could get that effect. I do like the way that looks. All right, let's see here. So we'll put that there, that there, this and this, and then we want to do those stairs on top. I don't know. I feel like that's starting to get a little too close to the edge of the face. Maybe? Let's try the other side, because I don't feel like I can judge that very well. Uh, let's see. We'll just completely tear this, tear this up and get rid of it. There we go. It looks awesome, but no, it doesn't work for your character. Yeah, I'm gonna have to remember that trick because that could be that could be something fun to to experiment with for a different character. Um, but yeah, I don't I don't think it it fits with what my character is supposed to look like. So let's see here, we'll do that, and then let's go ahead and oh no, don't do it upside down. Let me set time day. I feel like with the eyes closer together looks a little more natural. This seems a little bit more like inebriated piggy, for lack of a better word. <laughs> That's all I could come up with. <laughs> Let's see here. Can I can I duplicate this on this? It looks too far apart. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. I might just have to go go back to the way it was let's just do that for now and i th let's also try filling in the face maybe filling in the face and finding some shaping there might give us a little bit better uh control over what we're trying to accomplish here so let's see how to do that 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 nope there we go do that oh we got 20 minutes we got 20 minutes Okay, that, 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 and I'm glad that that Piggy's Epiphanies uh, uh, made sense. Like, w one thing I've struggled with is, do I want to make scripts for those? A and I kind of want to do, like, what I do the rest of my live stream, which is just kind of a freeform thing. Just 
have a basic premise of what I want to say and just freeform it, which seems to work a little bit better. Oh, don't break the glass. How are you going to have uh, eyes if you keep breaking the glass, P? Um, and I'll be honest with you. As long as it affects one person, to me, then it, it has uh, it, it served its goal and purpose. So always, always great to see that it does help somebody. So one, two, three, and then from here we'll do three. I saw something in chat. Give me one second, and I'll see what y'all said. Wait, how did I do this? Two blocks back and three over. I think this is three blocks back. That's what's throwing me. Okay, one, two, three. There we go. And then it's back, two, and a stair. Okay. Not 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 like Fred Astaire. Not a stair. <laughs> a space stair one two three from there one two three there from that stair and this would be two with a stair right there look at all these rhymes we can do with stairs who knew <laughs> Minecraft 42 i actually think the wider eyes are closer to your character Dylan, it does look odd, but then again, you're dealing with a round head instead of your skin's cubic one. That's true. Moncrafter, I think it's gold. I love all the elements you add to your streams, even the dad jokes. Oh, thank you. I'm glad. I'm glad you enjoyed that. Diamond Sky, always enjoy your life lessons. Yeah, this, this pig's been around for many a years. I, my, my, my wisdom, I can try to pass on to you. That was a terrible impression, Piggy. What'd you do that for? How are you going to make all those old people mad? <laughs> okay, so that kind of works. Let's see if we can fix these bug eyes. Because here's the thing. I've seen, uh, like, way back in the day, there was these restaurants called Chuck E. Cheese. They're still around, but they're not like they used to be. They used to have, like, these animatronic robots in them that would do performances, for lack of a better word. Uh, I say that tongue-in-cheek, that there were performances. Um but I've actually seen pictures of these robots without their furry costumes on, and they're kind of unnerving to look at the way the eyes and stuff look. And I'm getting the feeling that this is kind of the way this is looking, that we can see so much spaces around the eyes that it's almost giving that uncanny valley type sensation. So let's see here. Let's just bring that back. Let's start with flat and work our way out, because I do, yeah, that's going to feel a little bit too bug-eyed. Creepy animatronics, yes. <laughs> I enjoy the pig notes, but I admit, this one reminded me of, not meaning to, I don't know who that is. There's a whole video game about those Chuck E. Cheese things. Yeah, I know. Had some people try to get me to play that game, and I looked at it, and I saw a few people making videos on them, and I I'm like... I would be so bored playing that game. That game would not scare me. Like, it takes a lot to scare me. I am usually so stoic at stuff, I just kind of sit there. <laughs> like horror movies. I don't even wa bother watching horror movies. One, because you get those stupid images in your brain, and now you got to deal with them. Because, unfortunately, I, I mean, sometimes it's fortunate. But your brain is like a tape recorder, Okay. Although this is old technology. Your brain is like a recording device. There we go. we got to bring it up to date, Piggy. People aren't going to understand you. Your brain is a recording device. An iPod, so to say. Even though those are now outdated. Way to go, Piggy. Get with the times. Um, it has the ability to record and, and play back over again in a loop. Anything that you ingest into it. Um, so getting some kind of terrible imagery into your brain, sometimes it'll get stuck and it'll loop over and over and over again, even if you don't want it there. Kind of like that whole, uh, oh, CJ Williams, thank you so much. Have a good night. Thank you so much for stopping by. I hope you have a rest, a great rest of your evening. Um, but yeah, so you got to be mindful about what you put in there. Like that whole scenario about getting a song stuck in your head. If only you'd never listened to that song, you'd be fine, right? So sometimes certain movies, it's like, it's not necessarily it's it's bad or anything. It's just like it doesn't need to be in there. I don't need that looping around in my brain. If I gotta have something looping, might as well be something else. So for the most part, horror movies is just like yeah, I don't need that in my head. But if I do watch horror movies, it, usually I'm just kind of like okay. <laughs> 
really don't scare me that much. So that that I can't remember what was that game's called Five Nights at Freddy's or something like that and it just to me I was watching it and I'm watching people make videos on it and I'm just sitting there going how much of this is people just acting like they're scared? I don't get that. Dylan, I think it might been old Saturday Night Live. I'm good enough. I'm smart enough. And gosh darn it, people like me. Oh, yeah. I remember that guy. Oh, man. What in the world was his name? I, oh, man. That's going to drive me insane. I know that guy's name. Love the Lurk on Lurk message. Awesome lyric. Glad you like him. Uh, uh, smally, small something. I don't get scared by horror flicks either. My husband doesn't get it and thinks I'm broken. Richard Small. That might be what it was, Mike on Switch. It's been so long since I've seen that sketch. But yeah, I know what you're talking about. So I feel like in some ways this is working. Now, you know, uh, you get terrified. You don't watch anything horror. Well, that's fair enough. Know your limits, right? Hey, Space Dorito, welcome. How are you doing this evening? You know, know your limits, Mom Crafter. If you notice something you can't handle, just why even put yourself in that scenario, right? Let's do this. Maybe that'll give us a little more rounding. That that works a little better. Now what? Oh, okay. Oh, that's the other thing. We do need to look at this at far away and a slightly low angle because that's how it's going to be viewed most of the time. It's okay. I'm wondering if I made it slightly larger, if I could get a little bit better detail. And here's the other thing. Um, the, the eyes, the way they're set, how wide is this? Because here's another trick that we could do. I won't be able to do it tonight. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that would be 14, 15 wide. Stuart Smalley, that's what it was. The right side looks lopsided. I kept thinking that too. And it might be. This is a prototype. Remember Piggy's Epiphanies. Don't be afraid to make a mistake. <laughs> Don't be afraid to make a mistake. This is what this is. This is this is me putting into practice what I was talking about. I'm practicing when I'm preaching. I came up with Smalley, but I couldn't come up with a name. Backrat says I love this so much. <laughs> So I feel like maybe if I make it slightly larger, if I work with a few different materials to bring out some of the shapes instead of it being a monotone. I mean, we can see right now just with the different eyes, with the darkness for the nostrils and the mouth and the shadows we're getting, that alone is already really evoking a good shape. But if we play around with a few of the materials, we can get some... Uh, Extend the snout and mouth, and it would make a good gator as well. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> so, yeah, I'll have to experiment with that a little bit. I'll probably do that off camera, and I'll be honest with you. I almost feel like trying to do this in Java might be easier just because my brain is so used to working in a Java world. I'm a Java pig in a Java world. Piggy ears. That's not a bad idea. Huh. Let's see here. See, no. Let them look at the side of your head, buddy. Come on. If we do it quick enough, whoop, whoop. <laughs> that doesn't work. Oh, oh, I know. Wait. If I were on this server, server, I'd sneak in and put fangs on the piggy with dripstone. Well, good thing you're not on the server. <laughs> I'm going to try something real quick. Let's see. Y'all are... Y'all are going to get to see a little behind the scenes kind of stuff. I actually thought about doing this on one live stream. I didn't know how it would go over. Um, but let me see here. Let me see if I can pull this program up. And if I can get this program to cooperate with me and show up on stream. I've never actually, I've never actually done this on stream. Um, and hopefully I don't break this. Okay, so we're going to swap that with this program
Okay, I'm looking at my screen and all I'm seeing is a dark screen. Is that what y'all are seeing? What is this right here? Yeah, it's like it doesn't want to show up on screen at all. It's black. Okay, that's what I thought. Okay, we'll just swap back over. Uh, let me go back. I don't, I'm, I'll don't. i have to mess with that off camera and see if I can get that to work. Let me swap over and I'll tell you what it was going to be. Okay, we'll just go back to game. I'll close that for now. So what I was going to do is uh, I was opening up Blender which is the program I use for doing animations with my character. And so because it's a model, I could move it around and manipulate it. We could look at the sides of my character to see what the head looks like. Um, but for some reason, Blender did not want to show up on OBS, so I'm going to have to mess with that. But anyway, one idea I had for a stream was, um, so I'll, I'll show you again, just in case you weren't here. I'm going to switch to... Just the part of the video that's the end of it, because the beginning has music. But the, see this little animation of the character right there? That was created in Blender. Um, let me go back to the game. There we go. And uh, so there is a looping part of the video. So while I'm actually talking about the epiphany, you can kind of see it in the inventory menu. Okay, let's see if... If I can get that to work. See, I don't know if I can get that to show up. Uh, let's do this. Oh, oh, look. Right here. Here we go. So, see, there are ears on the head, but it's like flat on the side of the head. Um, We can experiment a little bit with ears and see if we could... Oh, man. Excuse me. If we can get something. Um, let's Let's just try another color just so it stands out. Um, just for a sketch. I'm trying to think of like what a, a pig ear might look like. I know it's got a little bit of a... Does that kind of work? It almost looks like I've got a horn on my head. <laughs> Mr. Nightmare 36, welcome to the stream. How are you doing this evening? It's like it kind of works as an ear. Maybe it needs to go down a little bit more. Maybe have a little bit more body to it. And maybe be behind this block. Or a ponytail. <laughs> yeah. See, that being a little bit larger is starting to look a little bit more like an ear. That's a little too much right there. But anyway, what I was getting at was I thought it might be fun if uh, on this the good. Oh, I'm doing good too. Um, having a very good evening. One thing is we might be able, and I'm just going to do this for effect so we can see, but I might be able to use some other blocks in here to create a little bit of contrast so that it kind of looks like the inside of a pig's ear, if that makes sense. Because usually when you see like cartoon of pig's ears, it's got like a curl to it almost, if that makes sense. Let's see here, if I do that, and then I don't know if that, being too far back, if that even works. So we kind of get a shadow out of it, but maybe something like that could work. Could try that. I'm going to have to experiment with that a little bit. But yeah, the whole idea with the, uh, the Blender thing was, while I'm doing the Piggy's Epiphanies, I've got my character sitting in a pose, and then every once in a while animates and does something like scratches his head, or looks up into the air for a minute and back down into his pose, like he's thinking about something. And right now, I think I've only got two or three poses that loop in that animation, and I wanted to add about five or six more and randomize them and then create a longer video segment that loops so it looks a little more natural what's going on and I thought it could be fun to do a stream where y'all watch me try to animate the character and maybe even have stream come up with some different poses for the character uh you know so that y'all can be involved in that sorry I mean pigtail not a ponytail a pigtail <laughs> oh that's a good one yeah, I think if I work with that a little bit more, I think we're we're about 80% of the way there. I'm feeling pretty good about that. I mean, let's let's do this test. 
So if you're looking over here, you know, give yourself, we're going to give ourselves about 15 seconds. That would be a cool stream behind the seams. Cool diamond sky. So I'll, I'll see if I can get that working. That might be something that, that a lot of people would want to watch. So yeah, we're just kind of like, uh, kind of like you eat sherbet between, um, uh, courses in a multi-course meal to cleanse your palate. We're kind of cleansing our mental palate here so we can get a quote unquote first impression when I turn around. Unshipped mod. I think some Minecraft animation streams would be great. I would definitely watch. Awesome. Okay, so now I feel like for me, my mind is kind of losing the imagery a little bit of what that face looks like so we can get a, a little bit of a fresh perspective. So let's... Okay, my first impression when I see that, if that was over there, that would definitely look like a pig face with ears. I feel like that works. I think we're pretty close to a winner here. I'm loving this. Oh my gosh. I've had my eyes closed the entire stream. My mind is fresh. <laughs> oh my gosh. Then you are a boss being able to ban people and keep up as a mod with your eyes closed. You must be like very good at Braille or something. Uh, Mr. Nightmare, thank you so much for the follow. I appreciate that. So, yeah, that's coming along. I, like I said, I think if maybe we make it a little bit larger, mess with some of the materials to get a little bit more definition in uh, shading and shape, I think we're on to a winner. And one hand tied behind your back. Uh-oh. <laughs> so, this has been a th one more successful stream, I feel like. It's been a whole lot of fun. Really glad to get a chance to hang out with everybody. Just do some experimenting with some building. Get a chance to just... Just hang out. Love it. Let me go ahead and get my guitar ready so we can get our closing song ready to go. So I can give y'all all a farewell and mods if you would be so kind as to start getting me a, uh, a raid. A raid ready to raid. Four Roadrunner says bye. Thank you so much for stopping by for however long you were able to. I hope that it was able to brighten your day or your evening, even if for just a moment. No, I know I own a guitar pick. What am I going to do? <laughs> oh, here it is. We'll meet again. Don't know where. Don't know when. But I know we'll meet again some sunny day. Smiling through just like you always do till the blue skies drive the dark clouds far away and won't you please say hello to the folks that I know tell them I won't be long they'll be happy to know that as you saw me go, I was singing this song. We'll meet again, don't know where, don't know when, but I knew we'll meet again some sunny day. Does it make me old that I'm singing along? No, it doesn't. It means you got good taste in music. <laughs> mom crafter this song has been in my head this week i'm starting to memorize it unshipped mod till next time piggy thank you all so much for hanging out really really enjoyed it oh oh here i go trying to be professional uh let's see here let's go ahead let's raid this fella don't anybody don't anybody spoil it okay no spoilers Boy, I'm like dragging this out. Let me get over where I can actually type. Oh, 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 hang on. <laughs> oh, I'm going to have to like get something set up so I can actually um, automate this. We'll get this all figured out. Thank you all so much for hanging out. Let's go give DadCraft a hard time.
and we gotta do the thing and play the Minecraft game. You know that's what we gotta do. It